Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, Google has, um, is going to actually make a change in the Google Chrome browser soon. And I think it's a good thing. They've noticed that one of the biggest problems with the Google browser is that you might remember that some websites will ask you if you want to receive notifications from that site. And apparently a lot of people click yes, and they end up with a lot of notifications. So what happens is that people get annoyed because there's just too many notifications of the different websites with content that change, and they just don't know what to do. The problem is it's very easy to say yes to the notifications. It's kind of very difficult to find where it is for a lot of people. So the browser will now have these notifications expire after a certain amount of time when you don't go and visit the website. So this, I think, is a great, great idea. So if you said yes and you're stuck with notifications, if you don't return to that website after a certain number of days, what's going to happen is that you will um, these notifications will stop eventually. So uh, this is, of course, uh, I think a good idea because uh, apparently it's one of the biggest problems now, notifications, too many notifications of websites uh, in the Google Chrome browser. Remember that if you want to manage these notifications and block notifications, what you could do in your um, browser, uh, Chrome browser, you can go on the upper right corner, three horizontal, uh, three vertical dots, you go into the settings, and once you're on the settings, on the left side, you can click the hamburger menu, go in privacy and security, and this is where you're going to have all the info of what's happening. So one of them will be site settings, and you will see, for example, the different notifications, if they're blocked or not. So you can go and say, hey, I don't want you know uh, notifications on this website and so on. You can control everything of a specific website. So uh, this is good because you can uh, check out the permissions and the notification of um, different websites. So you can, you know, I, for example, put don't allow sites to send notifications. Mine is always on. Um, that will also prevent you from having that happen and always... Um, um, you know, always having to clean up if you accidentally um, make those notifications on websites. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.